We've just uh, arrived at Old Head, just south of Kinsale. Uh, it's the start of the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, we've been stopped by there's a big tower there and then a golf course road, so we can't go any further down. And uh, I think we're going to look at staying here tonight, aren't we? Well, we are definitely. I love it. Yeah. start the Wild Atlantic Way. So we're at the old head of Kinsale, saying about the Lusitania, which was torpedoed by the Germans on May the 7th, 1915. Lusitania, and I'm guessing that's the U-20 submarine Shanka. So that's the old head signal tower in the Lusitania Museum. Just starting our Wild Atlantic Way and we're leaving Old Head. We're heading that away. We'll see where we end up. Okay. So we've just come to see Simmer League Friary. We'll take a drive up here. Karen's already gone ahead. Beautiful place. It's like a maze walking around though. Keep bumped into that woman there. <laughs> Friary bothering. <laughs> yes. Hello. 
good place anyway. Just stopped to see drum bag circle, which is a stone circle. So we're gonna see if we can't get back a century or two and get some cheaper diesel. Although we are on cheap diesel. <laughs> oh, there you go. That worked. Drum bag, stone circle. This part of the site is where the huts were. We heated stones on the fire and then pushed them into the water and boiled their meat in the water. That's quite cool. Very inventive. Okay, so that was a quick visit to Drumbeg Stone Circle. And go back, make a cuppa, and then carry on our trip. in the middle of the uh, woods we're having a walk in. You've missed one darling. There's a castle. Ah, I can't see whether that was a dead body down there. Because <laughs> Oliver was interested in it as well, so <laughs> a dead body all <laughs> Darling, only dog walkers and joggers find dead bodies. <laughs> well, cat walkers could. Mm, not sure it classes. <laughs> Mini's tree of sound fairy disco. How oh, cool is that? <laughs> Where is it, buddy? I can't help. Don't you wreck it? <laughs> oh, Viz. Oi. No respect. 
gone right in. Oliver's bum. You doing? Uh, hey, come on him. Bye. Oliver's. Come in. See how else from it. Oh, look at the local room. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Hello. Hello, little boy. Is that a good walk? <laughs> it is our house, yeah. Tail's gone up now. Yay! <laughs> oh, found this lovely little park up for the overnight. Really nice, had a pleasant walk last night. Uh, Lilla's warming up and uh, I think we're heading towards Mizzen Head today, so we'll see you there. We've come to see the Baltimore Beacon. Oliver's decided to jump out the van come for a visit with us. Right, looks like we've got to get up this rock bit here. Some steps, sir. Bobbers, you managed to move Yeah. There you go. So, wait the way if you like. You do whatever you like, mate. Here he come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, where are you? Oliver, you help her? You helping? There's a good lad. Yeah, I know. Baltimore Beacon is positioned high above the channel between the mainland and Shaking Island near the entrance to the harbour at Baltimore. It's part of a series of lighthouses and beacons dotted around the Irish coast, forming a warning system. Today we've come to Mizzen Head's Visitor Centre, which is based in an old signalling station on the peninsula. Thing is, 
So that's the bridge we're going across. Don't worry, it's hardly windy at all. The site is now a museum filled with old machines and displays. sunk off the Fastnet Rock during World War I. Long sunk by U-boats. Okay, out into the wind guys. <laughs> yeah, we picked a good day for this one. Today. Well, this is about our first wow in Ireland. In a few moments, the keeper is going up onto the rock, swung up on a spider's thread of rope and a spar of wood for a chair. There it is. What a guy. The building of the fastnet was one of the hardest jobs the lighthouse service has ever had to tackle. Remember, when they started, there was nothing here but rock. Nothing. No landing place, no derrick, not even shelter. The first man onto the rock had to cling to the nearest barnacle, with a sledgehammer and a rock drill slung from his shoulders. It didn't seem possible to build here. Stones weighing between three and five tons. Yeah. And it's 2074. Shevelled and interest in there, sweethearts. <laughs> it 
turns out that this lantern is the actual lighthouse here. Tad windy. Woo! <laughs> this. Hello there. It's all right, Dan. I'll speed this up to make it look better. <laughs> So we've been to all the blustrous lighthouses we've seen in, well, since we left Scotland. And what's the boy been doing? Guarding the van, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. He's good at it. No one's going to knit the van when it is this cute. No. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate it if you could click the thumbs up icon. If you fancy following along with our future travels, simply click the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching. Take care, folks.